Hi friends, welcome to Learn for Turkey. My name is Anup. In this tutorial, we are going to cover stash feature using Tortoise Git. Now, what is stash? Stash means storing something safely. Now, how this thing applies to Git? Let's cover. When stash comes into picture. Now, assume that there is no stash feature in the git. So what are the things you need to do if there would be no stash feature. Currently we are in the feature branch which is taken out of develop branch. You are developing some feature and making some changes in your local working directory. You are in the middle of the development and while you are in the middle of the development you need to switch to another branch for some reason it might be to fix some bug in that branch or to develop some important thing in some other branch so to switch to another branch you need to either commit all your local changes or you need to undo your local changes so if that would happen you might end up committing unfinished work or undo your important changes so to overcome this situation stash comes into picture what does that mean if you make local changes and you want to switch to another branch but you don't want to lose your local changes you can save them as a stash and switch to another branch when the reason for which you have switched to another branch is over then you can come back to the previous branch apply the stash and you are in the same state where you have left earlier so let's see how that things work right now suppose i am in the feature branch and my feature branch name is feature slash slider now since the feature is slider you might be a, started with creating a file slider.js and start writing the code for slider suppose you create one file let's create one file So I'm just mentioning a comment. I have saved this file. Save this file as JS file. Save it. Close it. Now we have created a slider.js file. Now you might have edited this file home.html file or include your script here suppose you are in the middle of the work and you are doing some changes in home.html and slider.js now some important issue comes into picture and you need to switch to another branch what you will do you either undo these changes or commit those changes since these changes are incomplete you cannot commit these changes or you don't want to undo this so you would go with stash so let's see how it works right click go to tortoise git stash save click on stash save name your stash with any anything you meaningful you can write slider stash like this or you can any, write any meaningful and here there is an option include untracked and all 
since lighter.js is a new file and it is currently untracked you can click on this option include untracked this would also include the slider.js and save it in the stash click on ok click on continue and just close this window you see that both the changes home.html edit and slider.js which is untracked are gone they are gone simply in a stash so they are saved safely and you are again in a state where you can switch to another branch let's switch to develop branch and make some change and commit to develop branch which might be urgent Suppose you need to add some change in the title and commit this change with meaning, meaningful commit message and your work is finished and you want to go back to the feature branch and apply the stash just switch back to the feature branch now you want your local changes to be same before switching to the develop branch so what you will do just right click totals git stash you can Choose this option stash pop. What this would do, this would apply the last saved stash to your working directory. If you are not confirmed that what would be the last saved stash, you can go to stash list. It would list down all the stashes that you have saved. Here you can see your message and select the stash that you want to apply. Select the stash, click OK and to apply the stash you need to go to totals git stash list select the stash with the message that you want to apply right click on the selected stash and select stash apply You can click this option as yes or no. Do you want to see the changes? Means what changes that stash brought to you in the working directory? You can see directly using yes option. As you see, home.html edited file and slider.js. These are the changes that stash has brought when it has been applied. You can see files individually by opening this file from here, or you can close this window. Just close this window you see that both these files come back and you are ready to develop from this stage so in this way you can save your uncommitted changes before switching to another branch and then switch back to this branch and apply the stash so this is very important feature and do make use of it while switching branches thank you thank you for watching this tutorial